What's going on Clash Bashers? Rocky here today and today we're back on our Let's Play Town Hall 11 and we're going to be working on maxing out our last hero, that Barbarian King. If you look here, we got a nice little level 50 queen. She's looking real good there. We got a nice level 20 Grand Warden. He's looking great, but our king, he's looking good. He's got that Barbarian King skin on, but he's only level 47 and we need to get him up maxed today. And I'm sure you're thinking, Bash, how are you getting three levels today? And you only have like 125,000 Dark Lux. What are you doing, Bash? Well, we'll talk about that here in a second. But before we do, let's hop into today's comment question of the day. Coming from Team Squid 06. Comment question of the day. If you win the Tunnel Type 5 tournament, what would you do with the money? Well, it is 25,000 split among 5,000 or five people. So it would be $5,000 each, which I mean, $5,000 is a good chunk of change, but it's nothing to do by like buy anything crazy or anything like that. I think I would use it, uh, you know, maybe buy some stuff around the house like my wife's been wanting a new patio set um you know maybe pay some bills nothing like crazy but you know just use it to to buy some stuff around the house and pay some bills i think i don't know i don't have actual plans for any kind of money like that because i don't think we're gonna actually win that tournament there's only one winner and there's a lot of pro teams in there if you guys want to submit your own comment question of the day do so down there in the comments using cq otd so let's talk about how we're gonna max this king out he costs 152,800 Dark Elixir to upgrade to level 48, which we have 125,000. So we need just a little bit in there. We don't need too much. We need about 27,000, which we should be able to do that today. Our gold pass, we, uh, we're we working on things. We get some rewards. We get 15,000 Dark Elixir at the next level. And that's going to come in handy because we're going to be working on the giant event. We need 10 more stars using 10 giants let me make sure that it's 10 giants. Don't want to be wrong. Yeah, 10 giants. So we're going to use basically a modified P.E.K.K.A. Smash using some giants in there. And we're going to go out and we're going to hit some loot. Now, this one does cost us just a little bit. Where's that one at right here? There it is. Uh, it's cost us 275,000, almost 276,000 elixir and about 1,200 dark elixir. So it does cost a little bit of dark elixir, but we should be able to make gains and be okay. So that gets us to level 48. And... You know, we don't even have a book of heroes, but we do have that rune of dark elixir. We're not using the rune of dark elixir today, guys. How are we getting the book of heroes? Well, we're going to go hero hunting. We need six more hero knockouts to get a book of heroes. So that gets us to level 48. How are we getting level 49 and level 50 today? Well, we're going to use league medals and use those hammers of heroes. We got 351 league medals. We need 330. And that's how we're going to get to level 50 here today, maxing out our heroes. So I'm going to go ahead. We're going to start off by getting a couple upgrades going. We're going to get ready to go out, find some loot. If we go look at our progress base, we got stuff going in the lab, which is good. But we also have a few upgrades to do. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop down a couple of these giant bombs right here for the time being. And then we'll kind of see where we're at. And then we'll put the elixir into walls for now. And I'm going to go out, I'm going to find us a base, and we'll be back with our first attack. Oh man, so there is so much loot on this one. I wish I had bats because it's single infernos, and we would probably do, be able to do some crazy work. So there's some dark elixir up here, which we need to try to get. But what we're going to do is we're going to start off down here. We're going to throw our E-Dragon right there. Why does he target the Builder Hut? I put him right on the cannon. Oh, Dragon. Why do you do these things to me? So we're going to put him right there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go really heavy on the giants over here. And we're going to we're going to try to get these guys going in there. Uh, we're going to go... Uh, I think we're going to go one P.E.K.K.A. there. Normally what I've been doing is I've been using the... Uh, the giants of wizards to funnel. You see that? Oh my goodness, that healer tried to go and follow that P.E.K.K.A. The P.E.K.K.A.'s just out there funneling. Leave that P.E.K.K.A. alone. All right, we're going to get this all working in here. Looks like we got the Dark Elixir over there, which is great. Uh, let's go ahead and freeze that so our Wrecker gets through. Which, actually, we would have probably been fine if the Wrecker didn't get through there. Uh, I'm going to try to save a little bit here. We're going to heal Rage right on off through here. Uh, let's go ahead and hit our Warden's ability as that's coming in. I probably should have waited until the Town Hall went down. I'm not used to attacking Town Hall 12s on this account, but that's okay. Looks like most of the bowlers actually escaped that there. Uh, we got to try to get a star here. I should have poisoned something. Hendo poison for the win. Uh, let's see. Queen's doing well. We got bowlers out here. We got a rage saved up. We'll drop that in a second. So we get the two star against the Town Hall 12, which is obviously a beautiful thing. Let's see. Queen's going to come in here. That eagle does not want to go down. 
Man, that eagle does not want to go down. All right, there we go. Eagle's going down. Queen, take out that Inferno. All right, there we go. Inferno goes down. And we just got a little bit of loot here on the back side. We still got tons of stuff up, though. We got our king or queen. We got bowlers. We got pekkas. We got quite a bit still up here. Now, the queen's going to go over here and do something crazy, like go just uh, kamikaze into an expo. Oh, queen, why do you do these things to me? All right, queen, get there. We can still get some positive stuff. I'm, I want to get most of the loot, but the queen's just kamikaze herself out of the raid. <laughs> if she would have stayed with everything, we might have... Uh, well, we, we don't really have time. I'm going to say we might have had a chance to triple it, but I think we're low on time. Oh, look at that one healer getting hit by the tornado trap. But look at this, guys. We're going 11v12, and we're going to get a nice high two-star. If we had bats on this, I think we could have probably tripled it because... Those bases do really well for, like, a P.E.K.K.A. Bow Bat, but the Bat spells cost more Dark Elixir, and I'm trying not to run up our Dark Elixir cost. So that'll get us two more stars on our Giant event, which will be nice, and it'll get us a ton of loot. Oh, man, that's a great way to start any episode when you're hero farming by getting tons of Dark Elixir. So I'm going to go ahead and end right there. That way we don't lose any more hero stuff. 715, 800, and 6K Dark Elixir. Let's go. That is huge. And it gets us a little bit of progress, as you'll see there. We get progress on our hero hunting. We get progress on our gold pass. So that's what we're going to be doing, working our way up and getting that king upgrade going soon. We'll be back with our next raid here in a moment. All right, guys, let's try this base right here. We're going to go in from the top side. It looks like we got two heroes. I think the queen's out, so we won't be able to get all three of the last heroes we need uh, to get that hero potion. But that's okay. Or the hero book, my bad. The book of heroes. Uh, but that's okay. We, we're just going to get in here. Try to get some loot down. So this is what I've been normally doing with this. is just throwing in the giants and using them to kind of take out right there. Uh, let's go in. All right, let's go with our queen right here. A little bit of a walk. We're going to go like that. Throw in those last two giants. Pekka. King. Warden. We'll wait a moment on the bowlers. Let everything kind of get in here. Bowlers going in. Nice. We'll rage everything up here. We got our ice golems into the core. King's being healed. That's all nice. That's great. And I think what we'll do is we'll hit the warden's ability as that eagle shot's coming in there. Uh, I'm going to heal these guys up over there, actually. They're, they're taking quite a bit of damage. Oh, I wanted to, I wanted to freeze that eagle before it shot off again, but... A little bit too slow on that. Hit the king's ability there. We're going to freeze that eagle right there that time. There, we got it. That works out. I, I, I hendo poisoned again. Now, I was waiting to see if there's any clan castle troops. The king went out uh, too fast, so that works out for us. Hendo's going to be annoyed with me. He's going to watch one of my videos and be like, bro, quit calling it a hendo poison. <laughs> uh, we're getting through here. We're doing some nice work. We're going to get tons and tons of loot. Uh, I had a little bit of a hard time finding this one, though. It took me a little bit of time to find some decent Dark Elixir, which, I mean, that's the main thing we need here today is Dark Elixir. But we're, we're making some good progress. Another three-star will be good for the giant event. Or not another three-star, but a three-star here will be good for that giant event because we needed ten stars total. We got two in the first, so that'll be five total. Let's see how we work here. Queen's getting in. Oh, everything's, like, alone down there. The Warden's taking the heavy damage. Oh, man. Poor Warden. He's going down, but we got our Queen. She's got a, her ability. We got a Pekka right there. We definitely got enough to get through here. We just got to be patient and let it work out. Uh, Ice Golem Giant combo over there is going to do a little bit of work. Might actually even get that Archer Tower down. I don't know how much health is on that Wizard Tower. Oh, our King's still up, too. Nice. King's still at full health. Let's go ahead and pop our queen just to get through there. Look at that. The giant ice golem combo. They got through a lot there. Why would the queen... I don't understand why the queen would do that. She could easily shoot that. Why would she go out there? Oh, that's so annoying. But we get the three star. We get some good loot. Uh, 385,000 elixir. Not much gold, but 5k dark elixir is the big number there with a 1200 bonus. We'll be back with our next raid. Alrighty, guys. We are not finding like that huge monster raid. I'm always looking for just like a huge monster of a raid. It's not finding that right now, but that's okay. Uh, we can make do with this. 5,300 Dark Elixir is nothing to laugh at. We can get tons and tons of value out of this one. So I'm going to go ahead and throw in our Giants over here. Get that funnel working again. Uh, we'll go ahead and start 
Ooh, I'm a little bit worried about this queen walk. We'll start it early. We'll start it like that, and then we'll go ahead and get the wrecker in early. That's what I was trying to say. That way, hopefully, she'll go up inside the base. Uh, she might not, though. She might not. We'll see what, what happens here. All right, we're going to go ahead and rage up all these guys here in a sec. Oh, we did not get very far with that record, did we? That's all right. Queen, see, that's what I was worried about. Queen's going around. That's where you can get an issue with this attack is when that queen starts to go around and not follow in with everything, that can become... Oh, and I missed the king. That That's even more of an issue, missing the king. Oh, man. All right, let's uh, go ahead and hit that. Oh, this is a this is a rough life out here, guys. No funnel. Trash attack here. Oh my goodness. Itchy nose. Alright, Queen, push everything back in. You might not get this Dark Elixir. Alright, Queen's going back in now. We got healers in the core. Alright, so this might turn around real quick here. Let's see. If I could get through that wall to help the Queen go in. Alright, that'll work. Okay, see, it's coming back. Just gotta be patient. This one was sketchy though, guys. This one... I mean, it's still sketchy. It's not even that great. It is still sketchy. I, I was ready to give up on the raid. I was ready to just like, oh, well, that's that's the end of that one, boys. But it looks like we're fine. We can still get the Dark Elixir from the Queen. And that's really all we need is the Dark Elixir. We get the two-star. I don't think that we three-star this one, but that's, I mean, that's not the end of the world. Queen's going to get that Dark Elixir right there. And we're going to be good. We are 70%, and I think I'm just going to go ahead and end the raid there. That way we don't have to worry about hero upgrade time too much. We get the full 5300 Dark Elixir. The bonuses make up a little bit for our Elixir and Gold. And then there we go. We get our Book of Heroes that we need to upgrade our King to level 48. Still need that 15,000 Dark Elixir. But if we three-star one more time with Giants, we'll get that 15,000 Dark Elixir. So we're doing well. We're doing all right here, guys. We just got to keep it going, keep that momentum up. I'm trying to figure out what I want to upgrade over here. Let's see, those that needs to go over, but I don't have space. I need to rework the progress space a little bit here. Let's put this over here. My progress space is a little bit of a disaster. I need to move it. Since we have so much stuff done, I need to shift the walls down and like, you know, extend all this. But we'll be back in a second. Hopefully we can find some huge loot like I did earlier, guys. I found this huge, huge one million raid. That I'm going to share with you guys right now. I wanted to work this into today's episode. I had to. It's a million, million raid. This was a little bit before I started recording. I was getting ready to record. Because usually, like, I want to make sure that, like, I'm in a decent spot to be able to, like, get the Dark Elixir I need for the heroes. Within a decent amount of raids. Or if I'm not finding those raids. So I was farming a little bit and I found this one. I wasn't able to record, of course. Uh, but we went with the Queen Walk Miners, one of my favorite Sound Hall 11 strategies for farming. It's just so effective, and it uses zero Dark Elixir. It's similar uh, to, like, the the Jai Wipe that we use, but uh, this, one, this one went pretty well. I mean, Queen gets in here. The Valks over there on that far side clear out everything over there. Queen does a good job walking down the side, setting the funnel, and then the King's up top there just taking out some buildings, and then the Miners are just going to go through and absolutely crush this base, like, the Biters do a great job just plowing right on through here. Uh, we do throw them all right up here towards uh, right about 10 o'clock there. Get the Warden going with them. We do still have the Eagle up, so we do have to contest that. But uh, I hit the Warden's ability early just to get those guys, make sure they're nice and protected through that first Eagle shot. I don't know. I, I think that was a good play there, and it ends up working out pretty nicely. I freeze late on the Eagle right there. Uh, but we get the miner still going through. We get a rage going through there. Oh, a million million raid. This is the dream, guys. This is what this is what I guess get excited for. I've been trying to find one of these, and it doesn't seem like we're gonna find another one. So, I wanted to make sure I showed off this replay before th at the end of this video because this was a, literally just before I started recording, getting ready to record. But we get all the loot. We get the three star in here. Uh, these ones. Those ones always feel nice. The miners, plenty of miners up with healers and the queen. Nice three star, one million, one million, six K Dark Elixir. I wish that was live, but we'll be back. Hopefully we can find one of those and we'll hit it live. See, there we go. I thought maybe if we showed that huge raid, maybe that would bring us some good luck and get us a huge raid. And it seems to have worked out because we have a monster raid right here, guys. Let's go ahead and go E-Drag over there. Let's get some giants kind of working in over here. Let's need like another 
wizard. Let's go like one of our bowlers right there. Uh, we're gonna go. I still, I'm still worried about our queen funnel here. We're gonna go queen here. We're gonna put our wrecker in right here. It's a dead base, so we should be okay. We go Pekka right here, Pekka right there. Get the warden with the queen. Gang, get this all working right up in here. Yeah, we should be in a pretty good spot on this one, guys. Uh, that E drag getting some nice value. That's what I'm talking about, E drag. Get in there. Do your thing. Don't let this base hold you down. King's in there doing some good stuff. We don't really have to worry about our freeze. And then we're just going to kind of jump here on the back end. I'll rage up all these guys again. Did we have we did have heroes up on this one, so that's good. Let's go ahead. All the stuff up there is walking around. Let's heal up here just to make sure everything stays alive. I'm going to freeze that wizard tower because it's just about to go down. Cannon's about to go down there. We'll poison our king, apparently. We'll hit our warden's ability. We'll hit our queen's ability. We'll, we'll freeze over there for the swag. And that's what I'm talking about, guys. That, that's exactly what we needed. A huge raid. 700,000. 7k Dark Elixir. That's, oh man, that makes me happy inside. And that'll also get us enough. That three star will get us our giants, which should give us enough to get our king up, if I remember right. Let me check my notes here. Yeah, we should be good here, guys. Let's uh let this finish off. And come on, there we go. Queen taking out that archer tower. Nice, huge loot there. 700,000, 600,000, and 7,700 dark elixir. That's almost, oh man, that's almost 9,000 with the bonus there. That's not bad at all. All right, let's go back home. So we get the giant event completed, which gives us some nice points there. Getting us up to the next tier 20% training boost, 15,000 dark elixir, which will be enough. To get our king going up. Now, I don't, uh, we got a little bit of time left on boost. We got 10 minutes, but I think it's all right. I think we'll just go ahead. We'll wrap up things here. Or do we, oh, uh, we have an art. Let's, let's hit one more. I'm, oh man, I want to find another one, big one. Let's, since we got a little bit left on boost, let's hit one more and then we'll get our king upgrading and get him maxed out to finish off the episode. I don't know. I just get really excited or hold on. No, let's, let's get him. Let's upgrade him. And then we'll go ahead and we'll hit it with our brand new Max Out King. That makes more sense. So we'll go ahead. I just want to double check that we had that book. We'll go ahead and get our King upgrading to level 58. Five days, 14 hours. We'll use Finish Now with the Book of Heroes, getting him up to level 48. We're going to go in here to the League Middle Shop, buy a hammer, a hammer of heroes. And then we're going to go ahead and upgrade him to level 59. 49? Level 49, and then we'll go ahead and buy another Hammer of Heroes and get him up to level 50. I almost said 60 there, guys. I really had to think about that one. Get him up to level 50 for that maxed out Town Hall 11 King. That's a thing of beauty. Now, we can move him over to our crowded progress base, and then we can upgrade another wall with some Elixir, and we'll upgrade... And yeah, no, let's... uh. Well, upgrade a, a wall with some gold and then we're gonna go ahead and upgrade a giant bomb right there I want to get these giant bombs finished off. So we're in a pretty nice spot Let's go out try out our brand new level 50 king I'm gonna get load up on a couple ice golems in the clan castle and we'll see how we do on this last raid Alrighty guys, you know, I get excited for tons of dark elixir and this one has eight 8,300, 8,000 Dark Elixir, oh my goodness, I'm so pumped I don't even know how to talk, okay, that's just me normally, you guys know I always mess up, oh, I get so excited for some of these raids, I'm like a little kid, I'm like, oh my god, big loot, <laughs> oh, E-Drag's not gonna get a ton there, but I should get enough, let's go ahead and sprinkle in some giants, get a little bit of funneling going on here, and then, you know, I think we're gonna try to bring... Bring that P.E.K.K.A. back in. I think that P.E.K.K.A. should follow back in. Uh, we'll bring that P.E.K.K.A. there, King, Warden. Oh yeah, we're looking nice, guys. We are looking nice. Get all of our bowlers going in there. Funneling happening on the outside. King and P.E.K.K.A. come back in though, please. All right, Wrecker gets through there. We're gonna have those. Let's go ahead and pop our, oh, hold on, I didn't put the Warden in. Oh, JJ Warden, oh, JJ. You cursed me with your warden skills. You guys notice that I blame my, blame my clanmates for everything? <laughs> uh, we'll go ahead and bring that in there. Hit the warden's ability. Eagle goes down. And then let's go ahead in there. Uh, I'm going to freeze that bow there on the back side. We'll poison that enemy king. Slow him down just a little bit. And... 
we should be pretty decent here. I'm going to go ahead and freeze again on that expo just to try to... Uh, never mind, the P.E.K.K.A. went down. Try to keep that P.E.K.K.A. moving, I was going to say. But we get all the Dark Elixir on this one. We might miss a little bit of the regular loot. I don't know. We got quite a bit up top still. And we still got healers up there. So our queen's going to go down. But we still have a quite a bit quite a bit of troops up there to work through. The only problem is they're not going to want to jump in everything. So that expo is just going to beat on them all day. All right. Let's see if we can get there. We got, ugh, we got a few defenses up too. Giant bomb going off. That's all right. We got healers over there. Oh, man. Bowler's stuck on a wall. We really need those bowlers to get through that wall. That would be nice. King is going down quick. Oh, man. The king is going down quick. All right. Ugh. I don't know, guys. I don't know if we triple this one. It's going to be close. Oh, no. There's a builder's hut over there pulling everything. Oh, the bowlers are going down also. Look at that king staying alive. The king getting out of the range of everything. Tesla going to go down. All right, King and Pekka, you got two defenses out. Look at the Warden. He's like, I know where you guys are going. I got you. All right, King and, King and Pekka get through the... I think that Pekka's full health, though. Full health Pekka might get us through here. This King is going down. Oh, no, King. It was nice knowing... Oh, no, hold on. He might survive. All right, Warden getting the bow. I think we're going to three-star this. This is sloppy, but I think we're going to three-star this with 8K Dark Elixir available. That's what I'm talking about. Holy crap. Huge loot there, 8,300 Dark Elixir. That's the way to finish with our brand new maxed out level 50 king. We're going to wrap it up there. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great day. Keep on Clash Bashing.